Hello everyone and welcome to yet another Defrag demo review. This is the, the Workup 365, the map is Precision 2. My name is Crazy Al, of course, and joining me today, a very special guest, is Donald. Hello! How's it going, Donald? It's been a while? It's been a while, yeah. But I'm very glad to be here on this map because this is a special one. This is a very special map. I couldn't not do this, uh, this map review without uh, yourself joining me. <laughs> so yeah let's uh let's hope we remember how to do this let's take a quick look at the results before we get started we've got um a decent amount of demos i thought for a map like this of course we will be checking out all of them at all the runs um some familiar names in there some old school names and some new names as well that i don't recognize so that'll be fun uh, but yeah, without any further ado, why don't we get stuck right into it? Yeah. Starting off with the VQ3, of course, as is tradition. And it's Raven, of course. One, uh, one minute twelve, let's go. So, do you have a lot of experience on this map yourself? Uh, I don't have a lot, but I was there, I guess, like when Sharp was making it because you know I'm, I'm the RWC like resident tester so yeah. this was meant to be an RWC map back when Kawum released his like reverse engineered mod of the game yeah um I'm not sure why it didn't end up being one I thought it was a great map but either way you know I'm glad to see it being played so weapon haters in the reflex community probably very unfortunate <laughs> but yeah this map was... made use oh sorry no no it's not fine when you go uh, yeah, no, this map made use of A, some Slick, which I know this might be hard to believe, but Slick didn't exist really in uh, Reflex, aside from like custom rule sets. Yes. So Kawum added that to the game on a trigger or like material basis. And also um, some newfound tech from Precision 1, where, you know, Shark would use those grenade targets to allow grenades to explode instantly, which have a different knockback than, uh, you know, than normal rockets. Yeah. Absolutely insane. <laughs> like, Precision 1 was insane enough, and this just takes it to another level. Very yeah. well played by Raven there, for the 112. Next up, by the way, have... Raven, I just want to say this funny, it's kind of funny. Raven's a boss for always submitting every map, and it netted yeah. him a bunch of money in the most recent Diabolical Cup, which I thought was hilarious. Yeah, but he actually um, forfeited the prize money to oh. uh, Piotrski, the next uh, below, yeah. <laughs> what a good guy. Yeah, he's a legend. Uh, next up, we have a 106 from Shihua, I think is how you pronounce that. I don't yeah. Know. That, that trips me up every time. Oh, going for free fire. Oh, when you start the demo, like, make sure to like explicitly say it. I think I'm late, like, three or okay. four seconds. My mistake. Let's see. Okay, one continuous plasma. I thought that was pretty elegant. So far, so good. Using the plasma on the ceiling. Classic. Oh, that's a very unfortunate rocket. Uh oh. Oh no, yeah. You give me a warning, I'm like on edge waiting for what he's gonna do wrong. I imagine this section right here must be really, really difficult to route in VQ3 because you have so little control. Oh yeah. The map does a pretty good job of guiding you, but still. There we have it. Well played. Next up we have a one one minute and one minute point seven um from four starting now. Let's see. Pretty clean start. Switch to the rockets. In VQ3, that's not a lighthearted decision to make. So no, <laughs> a weapon switch time is uh, brutal. Very serious, yeah. Much better speed out of that than the previous run. The uh, plasma exit, yeah, that was nice. Wow. 
crouching in the slick there for some reason. I'm not sure what that was about. He might have thought that the trigger that has a texture is like has collision. I'm not sure. Oh, Halvor pointed out in the chat, he crouches under the grenade trigger. Grenade trigger. Oh, to so just... Right. We were just talking about the switch time. If it gives yeah. you grenades and then you auto switch to it, it's going to mess you up. Yeah, that's actually really clever. Well played. Yeah. I'm going to show that one again and then just slow down there. Because I want to... I don't have triggers enabled. I think they're on a hotkey somewhere, but I don't want to start pressing buttons in case it's the wrong one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did bind it though. Oh, that trigger also takes away rockets, apparently. Oh! Okay, that, now it makes even more sense. I think we'll see a lot more of that then. Yeah. Especially in the That almost three. feels like an oversight on Shark's part. Maybe. But of course, Shark Megamind, I'm sure he figured it out. Oh, you don't even need the triggers there. They're actually shown in the map. So there's the crunch yeah. under the trigger. And then keeps That's rockets. Interesting, yeah. But you get rockets right after again, don't you? Oh, but if it removes rockets, it force auto switches, regardless of yeah. if you have auto switch or not. So okay. it still makes sense. Yeah, it's a good choice. Yeah, really cool run. Clever decision yeah. making. It's only the third one. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> We're still not even sub minute, but we are going now uh, to fifty seven point nine from someone called Phobos. Do they have a different name? Not that I know of. Let me just quickly check. Sorry, usually I have this up. Um. Oh, uh, it's got. There's another name in the workup page, but I can't pronounce that either. Uh oh, I don't have it open. Sorry. Deku. Deku. Sorry, I've already started the demo. My mistake. Yeah, I'm like two seconds late. It's all good. With the plasma. Nice circle walk there. I always like seeing that in VQ3. Oh, but not able to drop down instantly. Very good speed out of that. Using that inverted yeah. ceiling ramp. Very nice. Oh, nice. Really good what? preservation of momentum. That was some weird spacing. I know. <laughs> There's that grenade trigger. Does make you yeah, think. looking at it now, he like uh, this player is actually getting through it. I think much more slowly than the previous run. Mm -hmm. I'm forgetting the names, excuse me, but the Fallout. fact that yeah, Fallout. The fact that Fallout avoided the uh, rocket, no, the grenade trigger allowed them to have a way straighter line. Yeah, true. Uh, next up, fifty-six point four from Pashka. Let's go. Biotrix Rocket 2, that never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> we'll kinda slow up the plasma, up the first plasma claim. Well, plasma, but if you go up more slowly, you have a better chance of avoiding the ceiling ramp. Ah, true. Which allows you to get more height out of it. Nice. Wow, that's a lot of speed. Yeah, very good preservation momentum. This is crazy. This is a really good midsection. Straight line through here. Missing a jump. I've seen a couple players like randomly miss a jump in the quad section. I wonder what that's about. Yeah. Oh. That was excellent quad plasma. Yeah. Look at that. Barely even gets a chance to shoot a lot of rockets in that last section. Alright, moving on up to Halvor GB, 54.9, let's go. Our very own Halvor. Like bonks. Oh, Just don't. No, don't do it. Yeah, no, you, you're you disgusting. <laughs> oh, it's it, so good as well. Oh, it does work though, damn. Yeah. Okay, very Dream. good so far, actually. Yeah. Clean down the drain. Missing a little Putsy Bioshka, but I like the style. Great speed out of the plasma here. Oh, that skin. What? <laughs> You're so lucky, Halvor. 
I know you didn't mean that shit. Oh, he jumps over the rocket. Yeah, the grenade trigger. Genius, rather. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Look at this in the air. You don't, <laughs> you don't have the problem of missing jumps if you don't have to jump. Period. <laughs> if you miss every jump, then. <laughs> yeah. Nice. His half beat. You could see he wasn't quite sure which wall to go to. He was like sort of shaking a bit. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. All right, next up, barely beating out Halvor. A couple hundred milliseconds between them. Um, fifty-four point three from effect. Let's go. No pre fire. Very Honest good. Runner. Pretty good plasma. Oh, solid plasma on that curve section. Excellent rockets here. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, no, dude. That's Whoa. painful. That was gonna be wild. This section, though, is pretty good. Yeah. It ignores the plasma entirely. He does have way more speed as a result. Yeah, it's yeah. worth it. This section in particular before the quad trigger seems particularly rough. Yeah. And uh, VQ3. So much speed. Great rockets, yeah. Oh, misses that first little bit of quad plasma on the first rocket. A little unfortunate. Nice but roll. still a good run. Yeah, well played. Uh, next up, we have Pew, 30, uh, sorry, 53.2, let's go. I don't want to bash on him, that first rocket was pretty bad. I thought that as well, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but... I mean, he'll catch up, there. I'm sure. Oh, that. Yes, yeah, so like, that's very good, for example. Yeah, the downward momentum into the drain is the drain now. Might as well. What? That's kind of okay, weird. that's I think the best speed we've seen off the ramp though. Two thousand. Not as much speed in this section, but does go straight through, which I think is, you know, still saves time even if you have less speed. Yeah. Missed the rocket. It happens. I expect this ending to be excellent. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. It's very good. <laughs> Just pinballing between those two walls there. That was perfect. Um, next up. Okay. Did we lose a bunch of demos? Like, what happened? Uh, <laughs> how do you mean? How do you know going from, you know, 53 down to 46 in one yeah, fell swoop? It's, it's a pretty big jump. But hey, it's Zonder we're talking about here. It is Zonder. An elite gamer. 46.1 uh, massive jump uh, into the top three here. Uh, let's do it. Go. Cool. Alright, what do you got? No pre, no pre fire. fire, very good. I would have expected Zonder to pre fire. Let's see, very good speed though. Yeah, good. Like already. Work. Pretty good. Doesn't want to touch that one. Wow, it's such a flat rocket. Tons of speed off. Okay, that's this is the huge, huge difference already. Yeah. Oh, look crazy at that. skim. Plasma skip and grenade skip. That is very cool. Oh, uses a different sort of entry to that climb, but yeah. I don't know if that was intentional. But an even better final rocket section. Yeah. Even more pinbally. But since we're in the top three, we can see that one again. Uh, let's yeah. go. Interesting, like pre jump as well for the rocket. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about actually. Solid five angles. Yeah, spends a this rocket cycle. right here. This yeah. rocket is so wild. The way he looks so far back and it still hits him, I, I don't know, bends my brain a little bit. <laughs> This yeah. skim also insane. Sorry, I keep cutting you off. It's fine, I was just gonna say, he spends a significant portion of this map um, looking backwards, like staying facing backwards. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, the, that's kind of like a testament to how the, you know, how the map guides you, I guess. Yeah, for real. Especially in VQ3, that's what it's all about. All right, another decent jump in this top three. 44.9 from King Delta, starting now. Very different approach again. Yeah. Nice, look at this. Oh, yeah, going higher in the drain to drop down farther. Oh, and also the me. first run, yeah, on this side, I'm sorry. That's okay, come on, you go. Very good speed so far. Less speed out of that, I think, than Zonder, but so far, I think, overall, Delta's is oh. ahead. Crazy <laughs> crouch, better speed here. No way, look at this. Spamming that jump key so he doesn't miss it. <laughs> This is wild. Jesus. Delta. See that one again. Let's go. I think overall Zonder had a better start, but Delta had a way better midsection. I mean, look, just that alone, like the, the speed gain, from like the inverted ramp on the roof, on the ceiling to like, yeah. come down into that, into the drain. Very good. And this this year is just so crazy. I know, so quick. Five point two K before flying. Yeah. The same speed. Anyway, moving on. Forty four point two for Zass in first place. Let's go. No pre fire? Zass usually loves these pre fires. Well I'm glad to not see one, so <laughs> also using that inverted ramp looks yeah. so smooth. Oh, okay, not opting to go upper, yeah. 1200. Less speed overall here, I think. I'm expecting a wildly good ending. This crouch. Actually seems kind of slow for you. Yeah. Better quads? This looks pretty good. 6k. <laughs> mm -hmm. There it is! <laughs> No way. Okay, uh, let's go again on that. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Absolutely mad, man. I'm assuming you're gonna slow mo, so I'll just I'll watch your stream. Yeah. <laughs> do a few for the fans. This I think is is slower overall than we've seen from Delta. So it's actually interesting how, like, even in these top runs, there's still like wild differences in the, in you know, amongst the sections. Yeah, like right here, particularly, is slower than Delta for sure. Yeah, but then I would say better quad rockets by Zass. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he gets to a higher speed for the climb, just about, and then straight into the ceiling bar. On a slanted ceiling, by the way. I don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah, that's crazy. I am. I don't know what third person's. Mystic is in the chat asking for third person. I can try it. I don't know what it's going to look like though, so I apologize in advance. <laughs> um. Yeah, we can try it just this once. Yeah, it's going to look a little weird, like <laughs> leading up to that part. But hey, you know, this is the first time for everything. Um, someone is asking what the ceiling bug is. Would you like to do? The honor of explaining oh, that. I can explain it. I don't really understand it. The way it works is if you are up against the ceiling from, if you're pressing up against it from below and you're crouched and then you shoot up at an angle that's slightly higher than looking eye level, you will gain knockback, but you won't be pushed down from the ceiling. I think it's a matter of skimming and then you're skimming into the ceiling as you're going backwards, which means that you can sort of stick to the ceiling and gain speed at the same time. It's usually done with BFG or uh, Plasma in this case. You can see he's looking high into the ceiling. 
while going backwards and being crouched. <laughs> that, that makes it even harder to, to make sense of what's happening. <laughs> uh, the third person, I mean. But yeah, basically, the way I see the ceiling bug is when you crouch into the ceiling, you get stuck inside the ceiling. Therefore, your weapon explosions, your knockback is applied closer to the player, slightly therefore giving you more that's probably totally wrong but that's just the way that it kind of makes sense well it's head. right it's just you're missing how you get stuck into it okay which is fine you don't have to think about that yeah all right um um demos of the week we got some bq3 demos of the week of course um, oh we're not skipping straight to the sub 30 on this map by off charkin uh no 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 that's cpm of course oh right okay we're going bq3 demos of the week um, we're going to start off, we've got two nice runs by Roman, we're going to start off with the quicker one on SPD, SPR, ADR, uh, yeah, let's go, 24.8, uh, go. So these are just some excellent strafe demos, um, as we're used to seeing, um, from this run-up. Already very fancy with that light fixture. Yeah. Nice change of pace from the insane quad plasma. <laughs> oh, look at this skip. That's what? Really crazy. Yeah, that's sick. We can see that once more. Go. That light, light fixture is pretty nice. It's always nice to see people like properly close the windows while snapping. Ever since An has brought up that analogy, it's just in my head every time I see snap yeah, sounds. It's a, it's a perfect way of it's a perfect descriptor, I think. Is this demo new or from 2001? asks Mystic. I think it's new. It was posted like this year, or maybe the previous year. I think it was this year. Oh the map. I have no idea when the map is from. I apologize. Uh, but next up, we have an SDC map. Um, not the recent SDC, but a previous SDC. SDC 43 by Roman. 34.8. Let's go. Yeah, for context, this is definitely old. Yeah. Alvor says the map isn't new, so I guess that means it's old. Nice use of that inverted ram. Yep. You know, just a chill little half-beat run. Yeah. Closing run. This reminds me of that one Quake 1 level where you have to do that. <laughs> Quake 1 gamers will know. But anyway, um, let's move on to the CPM. That's what everyone wants to see, of course. We got, I think it was like, what, 20 runs? Starting off with Craven, Craven. Um, 125.9. Let's go. Craven's a fairly, I won't say new player. He's definitely been playing quite games for a long time, but I think he's kind of new to the whole War Cup um, thing. <laughs> yeah, he's in the chat. Let's go. Hey. To be clear, I think War Cups are a great thing for new players to just try out and sort of get their feet wet. Yeah, for That's sure. That's why I started as well, so. Some preliminary feedback. Try to hit the wall with your rocket. Try to jump when you hit the floor. I'm joking, of course. <laughs> nice. Yeah, actually pretty good. Like, pretty good reaction there. Slick. Yeah, Craven is a is an Arctic player. Oh, so, so used to the auto jump from that game. Okay, well, welcome to the club. Yeah, Donald's also a Zenotic player. That's true. I mean, I'd say this section's pretty good. Yeah, for sure. One feedback I would give is don't hold jump when you're doing plasma claims. Oh yeah. 
that will negatively affect you. I don't know how exactly, but I just know that it does. But yeah, very well played. Uh, I think he said, um, Craven said this is one of their first um, proper weapon maps that they played on Defrag, so massive shoutouts. It's definitely uh, jumping in at the deep end. <laughs> yeah, it's not <laughs> the easiest one to get started on. <laughs> no, not at all. All right, next up we have Cosmonaut. Uh, one, 110.6 starting now. <laughs> Looking a lot like a BQ3 demo so yeah. far. <laughs> there we go. He, look, he knows their control. Yeah. That was kind of crazy, actually. I, I don't know, that was so weird. He rocketed himself up to go into the ceiling ramp to drop down faster. Yeah, it works. It does. Nice surf. Surf's up. Slick is a thing. I'll tell him. Go. Nice. Okay, this is very good so far. Yeah. This quad section. Clearly a lot more comfortable with rockets than plasma. Nice. He actually... One of the better ends we've seen as well. Yeah, for sure. All right, next up, fifty-two point one. It is Raven. Let's go. Waiting for the day that Raven does a rocket ground boost to start <laughs> off. Ace, good spacing on that ramp jump. Oh, Raven. Here you go. Yeah, you know, it's been a while since I've seen a Raven defrag demo. He seems like he's improved a lot. Yeah, it jumps over the uh, the grenades. The grenades, oh. yeah. Oh. Look at this. He's a beast! <laughs> Nice. So they're right at the top as well of the uh, of the finish finish line. Well played. Next up, forty five point two. It's Fallout once again. Let's go. Very good start. In the drain. That spiral. Off the jump pads. A little bit of air time, you know, time to reflect. Fat skim. Oh, nice. Ooh, all right. Sign of things to come. Absolutely. A little unsure of where to go there. I, I don't think he's had that much speed in that section before. Yeah, it's a clear mouse movement. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Yo. I'm sorry, that was kind of out of nowhere. That was a very good yeah, quad can, section. We replayed Fallout's run in the last one, so let's do this one again. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. I love the uh, the switch to Rocket, like in CPM on that section. It's definitely very, very reminiscent of Precision 1. Yeah, for sure. Skim there as well. If I pointed that out last night. Then into that big skip and then jumping over the grenade. And then just absolutely engages beast mode here. I don't know what happened, man. Yeah, insane speed. The spirit of like Woody or something took over his body. <laughs> Very well played. All right, next up we have Syntax, 45.1, let's go. Space unit. All right, very good yeah. ground boost. Oh, look at this. Straight. Good God. In. 
as cool as that start is, it does mean that he, like, probably royally fucks up the ending, so... <laughs> Some sweet slick. Actually not that bad. Yeah, let's go. Great angle with the plasma as well. Just not a lot of rocket contact, but that's alright. Very well played. And next up we have I'm... Sergei. Sorry, go on. Uh, well, I can play this. I can explain this during the run. So go ahead. Okay, 44.7. Let's go. Fun fact with the quad plasma, anyone who was there during RWC 2019 knows that with this kind of quad plasma where you're backed against the wall, it's better to shoot at an angle that's very different from your typical like 70 degrees. It's much better to shoot higher than that so that it pushes you back a lot harder. Yeah. Because you're sandwiched between two brushes. There's basically yeah. nowhere for you to go. Anyway. Okay, this was a very good room. Yeah, really clean through here. BQ3 mode engaged, I guess? <laughs> Next up, another 44.2 this time from Pillow. Let's go. I wonder if this is the Zonotic Pillow. Let's see his start. Pretty good so far. No switch. Those pellets went nowhere, but you know how it is. Very unconventional so far. Oh, but it's very good up here. If he has a Zonotic player, he's used to the plasma equipment doing nothing anyway. <laughs> What was it called? The Hagar? The Hagar, yeah. Nice. God, that brings me back. <laughs> Alright, let's see the squad section. This better be good. Nice. Good speed. <laughs> very huh? ambitious. What? That's a very ambitious rocket pre fire there. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> Something sure, tells me that didn't connect. expect, right? No, 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 no. definitely not. But <laughs> I, I, I like the uh, gumption. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, next up, the last of the forty fours, point zero six four this time from Zipper, a, a name I'm not familiar with at all. Yeah, me neither. Name, not really. Uh, next, well, yeah, let's go. Cool. No idea. Pretty good so far. Good spacing, doesn't have to slow down. Great speed into the drain. Oh. Misses that rocket though, Is unfortunately. That what? Or something there? It looks like it, yeah. Also, Pillow as the Pillow from Xenotic because on Twitch they're called Zone Pillow. Hey, there you go. You're missing a lot of speed on that grenade. That first half was really good, not gonna lie. But, you know, it's inevitable. Some mistakes here and there. Let's see what their final speed is. Four three hundred. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna go and slow mo that wall bug. If that's yeah. what it was. Like if that's what it is, then that's hilarious because it's a reflex map. <laughs> right. But well, are those allowed? Like uh... I think it's somewhere here. I, they're allowed so long as you don't gain speed while you're in them. See, yeah. like he didn't gain speed, so. Fair enough. And for anyone who doesn't know, Reflex is plagued by wall bugs as well. Way worse than Defrag. Um, well, when I say worse, I just mean it's it's a lot easier to wall bug. But yeah, there's way more of them. Yeah, you don't get like speed in the same way that you would from a, a Defrag wall bug. I don't think so, anyway. Uh, next up, 40.7 from Gimrock. Let's go. Oh, slow mo. Nice. A good starting ground boost. Very good speed, but has to slow down, unfortunately. Great exit out of the drain, though. Nice, just about just to get over that wall. Such a strange entry to the curve, though. Will I crouch under the grenades? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, great rockets, though. Yeah, very comfortable with these rockets. It's not quite making the rockets connect in the very end, but still excellent run. Well played. Next up, barely beating out Gimrock. That's uh, 40.7 again from Quick. No ground boost. Minus respect. <laughs> Let's see. So decent first half does get a lot more speed over this um, ramp in the middle here. This is pretty nice. Yeah. Let's go. Just goes to show how well Shark mapped it, because even that inverted ceiling ramp like pushes them down onto the slick. Yeah. Whoa! Okay, that's among the best speed we've seen. Yeah. Last the crew represent. Well played. Next up, yet another 40.7. It's just tiny increases these past three demos. Uh, Phobos, again, let's go. Deku. The beginnings of a ground boost were there, so that's you know still nice to see. Points for trying. All right, let's see. This is pretty good so far. Great speed here. Does he get it over? Yes, he does. With over two thousand, in fact. So definitely better entry into this mid room than yeah, the previous great. runs. Very love, fast here. I love intense strengths as well. Yeah. Small wall up there, but no biggie. What is going on? <laughs> yeah, just trying to get as close to that wall as possible. Just spamming the rockets. Yeah. Anyway, taking a big jump down to 37.1 uh, with effect. Let's go. All right. Now we're seeing some proper ground boosts at the start. Good speed, doesn't have to slow down. Goes up to the inverted ceiling ramp, gets tons of speed out of the drain. Misses one rocket, very unfortunate, but still gets over with 2300, which is the best we've seen. Sticks to the wall, good trajectory, gets all his momentum transferred. So far, super clean. So close. Very quick final corridor as well. Excellent run by Effect. Moving up another 37.0 this time from Zeal. Prolific DFWC mapper, of course. Let's go. Can you believe it gets seven seconds better than this? I know. <laughs> Again, very, pretty good speed. Very smooth. Great surf. It makes the most out of that surf, actually. So clean. I think. It's hard to tell which one was better, to be honest. Yeah. I think he did a grand total of two jumps in that rocket quad section <laughs> before the <laughs> end, which is very cool. Uh, next up, another decent jump down to 33.3 from Puzifer. Puzifer, or however you say it. Oh, that was a ground boost. Nice, look at this. Whoa, okay, okay. Doing the uh, the rocket strat at the start. Like going through that little gap. Which I thought was for like a pre-fire. <laughs> but that's what that gap was for. Uh, no need. No, I don't mean before starting. I don't mean before starting the fire. A legitimate pre-fire. Oh, I see, okay. This run is pretty nasty, actually. Yeah, 6.1k before the climb. Okay, and also hits the first rocket after the plasma. I'm sorry, like I was watching on your stream because I was too late, but mm. that was a really crazy good ending. Yeah, it was. Because he's the first one we've seen who actually like looked back and shot the rocket immediately after the plasma. Mm. I'm just playing that one again. We can see it in effect. 
That, again, that start, going through those little rocket gap is pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, I know you do what have you mean. unlimited rockets, so like, might as well, right? Yeah, true. Absolutely. Also, the best speed we've seen so far in this section. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what you mean, because everyone has uh, instant weapon switch and everyone has auto switch on. At the top of the plasma climb, they always end up shooting a rocket, but so far, none of them have actually had any effect until this right here. Yeah, switches yeah. around in it, and you know, anticipation really mm -hmm. very well planned out for sure. Right, next up 32.3 from Procky Pop. Go. Doesn't go for it. Interesting. Oh, look at this. The Great speed. Here. Yeah. 2900 past it. That's crazy. Tended strats. Oh my god. There's the rocket again. Oh, not I quite think, able to convert, <laughs> yeah. I think that was the only rocket he hit in that in that final corridor, but still, excellent, excellent run from Procky. Yeah. Very well played. Right, next up, a name I'm not familiar with, uh, 31.6 from Carnage. Any ideas? No clue. Okay, let's go Carnage. Let's go. Small little uh, pre-run. Oh, Carnage is rain. Ah, I see, okay. Great speed there. Backwards. I see that plus back. I think I don't. <laughs> oh, look oh, at this. Oh, beautiful Patsibiashka, yeah. Very clean. Yeah, that's crazy. That's there three, I think that's four 1000 UPS rockets in a row. Crazy. Like, I'm going to just. Go through that again in slow mo quite a lot, yeah. probably. <laughs> but yeah, this section here to come straight from this plasma wall, shoot the rocket, and right up perfect spacing for the plasma climb. And then so fast down here that backwards surf, whatever that was. So high all the way through here, doesn't touch the ground. Is he, what is he? Oh yeah, he takes the grenade, but this is like such a nice grenade. Jumps, or does he jump up there? Or is that a step up? I think that was a step up. I think it's, yeah, it's a step up. And then, That's wild. Yeah, and then beautiful Potibiash, as I said. Crazy core rockets. And now watch this. these end rockets, yeah. yeah. Gets the first, no problem. 4k. 5k. <laughs> 6k? Let's go. <laughs> That's insane. Very well played by Rain, as always. Okay, next up we have Zass in fourth place. That's uh, not something you see very often, and so, so close between Rain and Zass. Look at this. 31.6, uh, let's go. He did get, you know, first in VQ3, so... Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not throwing shade, I would never... Overall, I think slightly slower start than Rain, so I'm expecting really good midsection. He does have better speed in this turn. Yeah. 3300, so... It doesn't take the grenades. Ooh. He... Okay, it's a different configuration. I think Zass's, like, spacing was a little faster overall. And he also has better quad rockets here. Oh my god. And the ceiling rocket as well. Damn. Like the ceiling bug rocket. Yeah. Again, I'm just gonna do a bit of slow mo because... So much happening in this room. He does a little plus back here. If, is it here? It, also worth noting that he's like still plasming in the in the drain, like yeah. running down. You know what I mean? There's so much speed with the W turn against the wall here. There's that slick, like the ramp to push you down in the slick. There's a crouch, and like you say, it's slightly different configuration through here. And rain. Oh, very good. And then 
yeah, over 6k before this climb. There's the ceiling bug rocket. Well, actually, it was a ceiling bug, but I don't think the rocket was in the ceiling bug. I think it was slightly before. Yeah, I think I think it pushed him into the ceiling bug. Yeah. Crazy. All right, moving into the top three. Once again, it is King Delta. Yet another 31.4 this time. Let's go. Yep, there's that. Oh, Ooh, upper route fire. and and inverted ceiling. That's really cool. So great start. Let's see how he does midsection. Pretty good. A little bit slower than Zass, but carries more speed because he goes out. Like he goes up to the outer turn. Yeah. Not as good end rockets as rain, but oh, incredibly fast. Yeah. For slow mo. I want to see like just slow mo this entire start, to be honest. Because I don't know what happened here. <laughs> it's only the second time we've seen this uh, this upper start. There's a small pre fire. Yeah. Which he only gets with a step up, by the way. That's pretty wild as well. Oh yeah, no, I get it. Makes sense there. Another little pre fire. Oh, yeah, no plasma through here. Of course, yeah. because he doesn't pick it up. It's great momentum into here. Gets great speed out of the drain and everything. And then this a little bit worse speed here. here. Like going out towards this right side wall, allowing him yeah. to shoot a couple more rockets. And, just and also just momentum. better speed. Yeah, better speed, like transference, I guess. He doesn't keep it, unfortunately, because you can see he drops down to 2400. Yeah. But I think overall that has the higher, like, ceiling for our speed. Yes, the rocket, of course. And these do help quite a bit, but just not as many as, like, Rain had, for example. Rain had four 1000 ops rockets, like you said. I don't think anyone else has done as well as that. Yeah so far but next up it's a real reflex lad it is right 31.1 can you believe it uh Wraith, again there's one a crazy uh weapon player in general but uh, especially in reflex as well uh, at least that's where we know him from yeah so yeah 31.1 let's go lower route Interesting, he waits to shoot that rocket up, you know, until that second plasma. Yeah. Okay, not as much speed as we've seen here before, so I'm expecting an excellent Yo. post grenade. Yo, okay. Yeah, yeah I, nah, I was not disappointed. I see a lot of people losing speed just after, like, right after the grenades. But he seems to just keep all of it. Yeah. And Excellent yeah. run. See that one again. Mystic, I don't think it was about the rockets. I think Rain's rockets were better. It was about the speed you got out of the climb before it. Yeah, so far nothing like unremarkable in his run. But then he just he takes off after that grenade, man. Yeah, for sure. Step up again. <laughs> Room. Wait, did he vertically skim that like bar with the rocket? Um, we'll check again. It has if tons so, of speed wild. to claim as well, like six yeah. point something. Vertically skims this like sort of bar here. I think so. Yeah. Oh, maybe actually. I think. <laughs> I think yeah, he does. See, yeah. Uh, I think we need to see third person again. <laughs> oh god. 
Oh, he does a little ground boost in that section as well. 6.4k. Mm hmm. Jesus. Right, I, I'm I just really... happy seeing Wreath like, all, all the way up here. Yeah, absolutely. It's always a pleasure. I do want to see the third person. See if he does like skim that thing. Hey, we're in an early 2000s defrag movie. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, we're in every freestyle movie. <laughs> I don't know if you'll even really be able to see. No, I think you will. Uh, maybe. Nah, nah he, he did. He did. Okay. I'll take it real far. Shout out to the uh, Quake 3 player models. Yeah, just utterly flying through like time and space, <laughs> I guess. Uh, let's make sure we turn that off for the next demo. Speaking of the next demo, off charking with over a full second. Mm -hmm. Ahead of of Rife, that is insane. At thirty point one, and you can tell. I already know that he's not happy with that time. Um, but yeah, let's go. There it is upper route, very nice. Rocket only. Not as much speed as we've seen here before, but I'm expecting an excellent midsection again. Great speed here, definitely better than Reef's uh, speed was there, so that's where I think most of the time is being saved, but now yeah. also the quad rockets. Ovchar can legendary with quad rockets, so... 6 .8. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost 7k, that's insane. Uh, excellent, uh, probably the best ground boost to start off with. At the start? Yeah, I think so. I'm so happy that he does uh, the grenade strat as well. Yeah, nice and attended. Insane speed. Crazy, but yeah, that was your that was your first place run. We'll see once more before moving on to demos of the week. And boy, have we got some demos of the week. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like, I don't know if I'm just desensitized to it now, but it doesn't seem like there's anything particularly crazy about this run. Like, other than the sheer speed that he has through here, of course. But, like, there's no, like, little thing. Right. I, you, know I mean? you said the exact same thing about uh, my run on Precision 1 fix. It was just, it's just <laughs> fast. Like, it, it's yeah. almost boring how, how fast it is. <laughs> I could see, like, cause uh, there's a bunch of these demos that I could pick out that all have like one little thing, like, oh, he skims, the very clear skims mm -hmm. the thing, mm -hmm. or he does this, or he does that. Off Tarkin is just like it's just sick, <laughs> it's just sick all the way through. Um, but you know, can we'll you uh, can you believe it's gonna get better than this still? Yeah, demos of the week, Off Tarkin coming back. I think this is probably after the deadline. Um, well, it must be. Obviously, twenty nine point eight. He managed to get it down to. So if you couldn't see, like Mystic in the in the chat says couldn't see the one sec improvement. I guess it's in the quad section. Um, let's see if you can see the improvement here from what was it thirty point one, thirty one, yeah. thirty point one to twenty nine point eight. Let's go. Definitely better speed here, even if slightly. Yep. Yeah, overall slightly better speed, about plus 100, I'd say, oh. and this is better for sure. 31 after the grenades is on the other half. Not quite as much into the climb, but everything before that was definitely better. And yeah. he had four rockets, actually, in the ending. Yeah, okay. Even though, you know, the last one probably hit after the finish line, but, you know. <laughs> Shout to this grenade in particular.
<laughs> Excellent run. I mean, I just—I I got no words. It's one of those. It's just—it's just incredibly fast. Like, yeah, it does everything. Speaks for itself in a way. He was four hundred ups faster before the climb and the previous demo, but you know, what I mean, like, he yeah. clearly makes up for it in the start. It's uh, also, but, I think, a hallmark of just an excellent map when like top players come back to it right after a competition. You know. Yeah. Well, like I say, 30, 30, who wants to end on a thirty point one? You've got to go for that twenty nine. It's it's purely yeah. like it's totally arbitrary, of course, but like you, it's those milestones that you grind for, isn't it? Yeah. All right, but next up uh, for our final demo, we've got a whiz run. We've got a whiz corp run. So you know, viewer discretion is advised if you're not comfortable looking at these insanely fast switching, like side switching demos. Then you know, look away. But this is a this is a, a speed mapping comp map by Sharkosity, the author of Precision Two. Yeah. Um. And yeah, let's go. Oh, this is the one with the Discord. <laughs> we do a little snapping. Nice. Look at this. So you know, nothing, nothing like crazily spectacular in this demo. It's just I wanted to, you know, give the yeah, light like, to to some of honestly, Shark's other maps. Honestly, this is kind of a, a really cool demo and just how relaxed of a whiz run it is. Yeah, actually, it is. <laughs> it's really not that bad, is it? No. Like I, I could see this in a like Power of Heavy Metal movie and just probably not even notice it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mystic, Mystic wants to see third person on the on the task run. Oh dear, hey, Mystic, this is this will be terrible. Also, online online task demos. Are you cheating? <laughs> you know, you're allowed to cheat if you're not logged in. That's like <laughs> official. Yeah. Here we go. Third person was demo. Didn't think we'd ever stoop this low. I mean, like you say, it's totally chill. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, speed mapping comp was something that was run in the Defrag Discord, and um, I think some of the maps that come out of that are very, very cool. And I think there, there needs to be... Sharkosity made one. I forget what it's called now. I'm so sorry. I think it was... Let me just check. Was that... Okay, so that was speed mapping comp 2. I think Shark's mm -hmm. map and speed, copy ma speed mapping comp 3. Uh, is the one I'm thinking of, um, which was like the Metroidvania style um, thing that they asked for. Um, but yeah, he's got a crazy map, and it's got no runs on it, literally. Like, no one has played this map, not seriously. So if there's going to be, if anyone's taking suggestions for War Cup, I think that could be cool, or maybe as a War Cup extra. Yeah. Just, um, I think that'd be very good. But yeah, that's all the demos we have for you today. There's another look at the uh, results. Absolutely insane. Massive shout outs to all these gamers, especially those who submitted uh, both MVQ3 and CPM, because that is what we love to see, is it not? Absolutely. And before we go, I'm going to remind you all that um, some very, very, uh, some very kind people in the in the Defrag community have been uh, crowdfunding money um, to help provide aid to Ukrainian defraggers and Russian controlled territories. So if you've got any money to spare, you want to help out, please donate um, via PayPal to the to the address that you see on your screen now. And it will really help out players such as Dex, Strangeland, Chopin, um, who are currently having some, you know, very, very difficult times. I'm, I'm sure you can all understand. To be clear, the PayPal is run by CMC, who's also run all the funding for DFWC for quite a few years now. Yeah, so the money is going to a trusted... Um, person who is then distributing it evenly between those um, players who are affected. So yeah, um, it's unfortunate that we have to do this, but you know, if you've got the got some spare cash that you want to throw um, and help some people out, then that would be fantastic and we really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all we have for you today. Thank you all for watching. Um, it's been good to be back. Sorry it's been so long. I've been very busy. But uh, yeah, we'll be back somewhat on a somewhat regular schedule pretty soon. Um, hopefully, we'll be back tomorrow with some extra, some extra, literally work up extras we've got coming up. So <laughs> be on the lookout for that. Thank you, Donald, for joining us. Thank you for uh, having me.
it's been an absolute pleasure. I like I say, I couldn't not have you on a map like this. Uh, so yeah, cheers. Um, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.